Setting a standard in Christ. Setting a standard in Christ. Urban Family Talk. All righty. I had to get that out quickly. I'll get the rest of the housekeeping out later on in the show because I want to get right to the broadcast. I want to welcome to the show my good friend and fellow warrior in the good fight and, uh, and world traveler, i got to say, because I think he's calling from an airport somewhere in America. Welcome to the show, Pastor Dumasani to Mexican Washington. Lonnie, how you doing, my friend? Uh, man, how you doing, man, Mr. Globetrotter? <laughs> He's racking up those yes, stupid fire miles. And I apologize to you and to the listeners as well. Again, I, it, my schedule is kind of crazy again. I'm actually in Dallas Airport on the tram headed oh. for Seagate to catch my flight to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So you're going to hear some noise behind me. So, again, I do apologize for not giving the heads up a little earlier. Oh, that's all right, brother. We'll catch you however we can catch you, man. We know how that is, so that's <laughs> all right with us. And um, so you're headed, to, uh, no doubt, to another event to speak um, and share the, the truth, you know, what I call the good news or the truth about Israel um, and, and uh, across this great nation. So I commend you. If, if you're going to oh, Tulsa, some good people in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So God bless you, man, on your trip there. Yes, sir. No, I'm looking forward to it. We have started our live event for the Mizrahi Project uh, that we've been working on. The listeners may know a little bit. We talked about the telling the story of the over 850,000 Jewish refugees from North Africa and the Middle East. And so we have scheduled live events, a, a film screening of this project. And people can check out the project at the Mizrahi. Mizrahi is M I R. Uh oh. Yeah, the noise behind me. M I R A H I, the Mitzrahi, M I Z R A H I, M I Z R A H I, the Mitzrahi Project dot org, and they can check out the videos of these first and second generation Jewish refugees who are telling their stories about being expelled from North Africa and the Middle East, from Libya, from Algeria, from Yemen. Many people, most people, don't know about them. In fact, they're called the forgotten refugees. Yes, my my team and I we made a series of films about these young these people, uh, and so now what we've been doing is showing. Uh, you can see the short films online, but if you can want to see the compilation film. It's a screening that you can do on live. So again, anyone in the Tulsa area, we will be at ORU or Roberts University on Thursday, November the second at seven p.m. You can uh, go on the Kufi website, cufi dot org. And you can get information about our events there, or you can contact the school as well to find out exactly what we'll be. We'll be in St. Louis on Thursday, November the 16th. Uh, there's Chicago events that are planned, L.A., San Francisco. So, again, go on the website. We'd love to, to meet you all there if you can join us there. Hey, man, brother. Hey, I just um, was chatting this morning um, in social media with um, your good friend and soon to be my good friend, uh, Brother Remy. Um, I believe his last is it Il- Ilona? Remy's last name? Say it again one more time, Lonnie. Tell that I, was, I was, I was um, chatting via uh, social media this morning with Remy. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remy. My good friend Remy Alona, one of the leaders of the Igbo Jewish community of West Africa. Yes. Absolutely. So, yes, sir. That that man, uh, it, he is, uh, uh, the, 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 that's the access that you want to have. He has the information more than any other individual, a writer, an author, a, a, an attorney. So, yes, sir, you all were able to talk today, huh? Yes, and so I'm hoping to get him on the show, and, and I'll keep you posted as to when I get him on. Maybe I can get both you guys on at the same time. That would be a blast. <laughs> I'm yeah, tell you. Yeah. Absolutely, Lonnie. I think your, your listeners would be in for a treat. Uh, God has really given this gentleman a platform. Again, he is from Nigeria. He's based in Miami right now. Uh, he went there to go study. He might have told you that already to go to study at school there. Um, and doing Jewish studies, and again, he continues to write. Uh, he's speaking more and more different parts of the country. We've been talking about him on our social media as well, because people need to know who he is. We talk about everything from the black Hebrew Israelites and their confusion about only black people being Jews. And some of them are citing his work, not because he believes that. Uh-huh. Remy understands that Jews are all over the world, but Remy is an expert when it comes to the West African Israelites. And so some of the people have been taking it, teaching, using it for their own purposes. You having them on the show would be great because he can clarify those things and give a lot of, uh, of understanding. So I think that people really enjoy him. 
I, I think it will. It will. In fact, I, I could have used them this past weekend as I was downtown D.C. over by the Verizon Center and the uh, black Hebrew Israelites were there um, spewing <laughs> spewing hate, you know, to all of the tourists right. and so forth here in our nation's capital. As a man, I, and so I, I will engage with some of them in, in discussion, but um, when they're in the middle of that, that heated um, diatribe and so forth, it accomplishes nothing. Um, but what I'm hoping to do is get one of them to come on, one of their leaders to come on my show so that um, we can begin to s- discuss some of these things because um, they're passionately misinformed. I, I get their passion. They're looking for answers, but they're looking for answers in the wrong place. If your solution yes, ends up being you just end up hating somebody else, then it's not the solution. Right. Yes, sir. L- Lonnie, I, I, again, that's one of the reasons why, one of the many reasons why I appreciate your show, appreciate Urban Family Talk, because there's nowhere else people can really get that kind of access to that kind of information. To have them come on, to talk with them, debate, discuss, and bring, really bring these issues out. I'm, I'm working on my book now, uh, along with Zionism and the Black Church. We're working on one uh, ebook that's called Ten Questions for Hebrew Israelites. We're actually working on that. We're hoping to have it released in the next couple of months. And we think that's dealing with some of these issues. There'll be accompanying podcasts as well as YouTube. Uh, videos that people can kind of check out and everything. We've been getting a lot of questions, particularly from pastors, about this whole Hebrew Israelite issue, and so we're trying to give the information out as quickly as we can. So we are working on that, and we'll keep everybody posted about that as well. Man, I'm telling you, you produce that, man, it'll fly off the shelves because there's a need, as I'm sure you know, this um, particular ideology is is bubbling up into the mainline uh, church community, and we need to put a stop to it and, and 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 kill it early, kill it off early, so it doesn't germinate and propagate throughout Christendom, uh, because we certainly yeah, see it in, in different parts. Hey, let's talk a little bit about the Israel trip before I let you go, because I know you got to get going, um, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Pastor Washington and I, we're going to Israel next year in February, and if you want to go too. <laughs> You better get in and sign up. If you go to the main page, um, urbanfamilytalk.com, you'll see it prominently displayed right there on the main page. It says Kufi and UFC partner for Israel trip opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. So we want you all to join us. Uh, we're almost uh, we're going to be full here in a second. For yep. those of who are interested, we are taking pastors and leaders to Israel this February 5th through the 13th, 2018. And it's a special uh, slot that we are re- reserving for those urban family pastors. So many have already signed up. Uh, there's a limited amount uh, of slots that are there. So, again, we want you to join us. If you're, if you're interested in that, if you are a senior pastor uh, and you would like to do that, if you would like to take a trip to the Holy Land, I believe it's still on the website there. I know Lonnie yes, gives you the information, but go on there. And please join us. We want you to do that. These are funded trips. Um, our donors allow us to take these pastors for very little amount on the pastor's part. So if you're interested, please, please join us. Don't miss this opportunity. You can't meet it. You can't miss. You can't beat this. Excuse me. You can't beat this. This deal, ladies and gentlemen, it's about the equivalent. Your participation financially is about the equivalent of a nice suit or a nice dress. And I mean that seriously. Um, we're not going to say it on air. You've got to go to the page and fill out the questionnaire and join the Urban Family Pastors Network to find out about this deal of a lifetime. So we're going next year in February. We're going to have a great time. Pastor, we've got about two or three minutes left before we go to break. And I know you've got to run because I hear the commotion in the background. Any final thoughts you want to share with our listeners before we let you go? Well, Lonnie, I just want to, again, hit that again with the terms of the trip. Please join us if you would like to join us. But also, uh, join us also for these events that are happening all over the country. We want to see you out there. There's going to be more that's happening. Again, I'll have even more information. But please check that out. Go to cufi.org, cufi.org, so that you can see what's happening and so that you can be a part of it in your region and in your area. So we'd love to have you. Hey, man, Pastor. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to let you go, brother, because I know you're <laughs> hustling about in the airport to catch your other flight. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Pastor Dumasani Tomesk in Washington. Truth. Wisdom. 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 Wisd